Hello and welcome back everyone. I'm Plumada Banana and this is Ark. In the last episode I think we tamed Red Rage Raspberry over there and I think, I think she didn't like the name as someone pointed out. She pooped right after I gave her the name. And we have a new friend because in between episodes I went out and well, kind of on a hunting trip I knocked out this turtle and in honor of well, one of my favorite, mm, let's say, short movies or whatever you want to call them, uh, ASD, ASDF movie, I called him Mind Turtle. It's a male, as you can see, and it took me, I, I don't know, about two hours or so, a one, and, one and a half hour, it felt like way more to tame him. The um, concept is actually pretty much the same as with the Parasaurus, I just knock this guy out with some slingshots on the head, some rocks on the head. He fell unconscious and then I, yeah, did what you have to do. I put in a lot of narco berries, I think it were about, I think it took me about 60 or 70 or so. Maybe, I, that's just a raw estimate actually. Oh, in the level up. And let's give him more HP. So I put in the narco berries and I used them remotely as you've seen with the other one and uh, I fed him mejo berries because those are the ones that they like the most. I think the end taming effectiveness was at around I don't rightly know I think 60% or so and the other thing that you might want to know about Taming is whoops my torch broke is uh, the lower you tame your your dinosaurs at the better it is actually because you get them you get to level them up yourself because if you tame higher level dinosaurs they would have used their level up points as they saw fit it's like an auto level up it's just a random level up and it could have put all their stuff into oh god damn it sorry. Yeah, I forgot it doesn't remember the sound settings. Alright. I should have done it. Uh, yeah, it could have been that they put all their stuff into uh, movement speed or something. That's not what you want, I guess. Not 100% sure how to level up your dinosaurs, but I guess HP would be a good, good point. Because I've seen... Yeah, well our raptor that we had on our uh, and on the online version on our on the server got ripped apart by another raptor a level 24 raptor and ours was level 5 or so well sadly we lost him but that's that's just how it goes okay so as i've said try to try to get them as low as possible and then train them so yeah in case you're wondering what i'm doing at the moment i'm getting ammo for the slingshot, it uses stone, so I'm just running around grabbing stones. That's the one thing that I don't like about the slingshot, the ammo is so freaking heavy. As you can see it just, I have 22 stones and it weighs 11. And that's not, if you can see I have a 130 max capacity, so that's that's a lot. Also I'm not 100% sure what's the most efficient types of level up but I think HP is one of the most important one and also I've learned the mortar and pestle in between episodes I learned the uh, simple bed I think the slingshot of course and now I learned the narcotic because I want to tame well I want to be able to tame carnivores and they actually hate it if you force feed them narco berries. I think I've mentioned this in the last episode where I tamed the Parasaurus. So the goal for for this episode is to find a Dillo. These are the spitters if you haven't seen them. I guess I died to one of them in the one of the first episodes. One or two of maybe three. Not a hundred percent sure. Uh, but yeah, that's the thing. I want to find a Dilla, I want to knock it out, and then I'm gonna tame it. Because I'm building a kind of a zoo here, I don't know. Mm. 
you... I don't know, the turtle is pretty cool. I like it, but it's slow. As you might would have expected. And I want to pull him over here a bit. Perfect. Uh, you can get a saddle for them, so you can ride them. As you can see, you can equip a saddle. Uh, but this unlocks it, I think, level 25, so that will take quite some time to get to. And the other thing is, uh, we just got... Uh, what's it called? We just got level 10, so I guess I'm able to, let me see, to learn the Parasaurus saddle. But to be honest, I don't think I'll learn it. I, I know it would be cool and stuff, and yeah, riding a Parasaurus, but I've heard that you can't get all the Engrams, even if you level up really, really high. So, I I think I'll save the points, actually. I save the points for, you know, the Raptor Saddle, or maybe another wooden, uh, the wooden floor, the wooden walls, or something like that. Because... I'm alone, and I'm playing alone, and I really don't have the luxury to grab whatever engrams I want to. I have to plan it pretty carefully. Because if I can't pick them all, I don't want to waste points on something that's not that necessary. And while it would be cool to ride on a, um, on a Parasaurus, and they are quite fast indeed, and they can lug around quite a lot of, of stuff, they're not that great they can't really defend themselves and they'll die pretty fast and stuff like that so yeah not sure if i want to so yeah that's why i'm going ahead and i'll get myself a carnivore as next pet and that will be a dillo and i guess i'll cut uh, i'll make a cut and until it's daylight and I have all the necessary components and stuff like that. So you don't have to watch the preparation for this. So, until later. Alright. Uh, I have I think I've jumped directly to this part because, uh, you know, I don't know if you want to um, watch 10 minutes of me running around and trying to get narco berries. Because that's what I did. It was a pretty successful trip, 38, that's pretty good. And another spoiled meat, that's good. Uh, in case you haven't seen it yet, and I guess you haven't, I crafted a mortar and pestle. Took me some stone and some hide, nothing too major, it's actually pretty simple to do. I access the inventory of the mortar and pestle, and then it's it acts like just a standard interface. You put in some narco berries, some spoiled berries, uh, berries. some spoiled meat, of course, God damn it. You move into the consumables uh, folder, then you have um, some other folders, it's under drugs, and then you have the Engram narcotic. Now you just click how many any, how many times you want it, and I want to use all that all resources that I have on the narcotics. So I'm gonna look it up a bit more because I just want to find more spoiled meat. Because that's a limiting factor at the moment, I think. Uh, five minutes to spoil, let's take that with us. Let's put in all the berry seeds that we found during this trip. Also, if you're wondering why do I have spark powder and two campfires and I think there was a sleeping bag in this thing and a water skin, uh, that's because I, in between episodes there was a supply drop pretty close to my home and I went out and got it and I'm terribly sorry that I didn't show you what a supply drop looks like but uh, that it wasn't a very good opportunity just to record for this two seconds of supply drop. I'm, I'm trying to look one up if I see one. Uh, basically in, you really see them from afar. These are huge beams of light and at the bottom is like a crystal looking thing that you just go there and access the inventory exactly like you would in a chest and then you just get stuff out of it and I've got well I got a two water skins one sleeping bag and I think some meat and stuff like that so not nothing again two campfires so nothing really really important 
uh, you can get some really cool stuff out of it. Uh, on in the online version, we got a uh, what's it called? A blueprint for wooden walls. So as long as you have the blue, I think it works like that because I didn't learn the wooden walls. And as long as as I had the blueprint wooden walls, it's a, just an inventory item. In my inventory, I was able to craft a wooden wall. And as soon as I put it away, I couldn't. So I think you have to have it in your inventory. And yeah, that's basically what we what I did um, between the episode, right? So we got thirteen narcotics. That's an okay-ish amount. I wouldn't, I wouldn't bet that it's enough. Well, I think it's enough for a Dillo, but the loss of Dillo for Dillo for I think. Yeah, I don't know. So I think I'll make another cut right here because I need to maybe farm up more narcotics and. Also, I need to find a dillo, right? So, I'll see you when uh, I'll see you again when something interesting happens. Okay, so I'm back again. I I didn't really farm much narcotics, to be honest. I, uh, oops. I actually am here to kill some dodos. For I think I have to. Uh, well, I have haven't in, have not enough meat for. There's a bit dodo somewhere. I hear it. And also there's a Dillo, so that could be quite a good one to to tame. Let's see. Let's just check this guy. Level 4, okay. That looks good. Let's shoot him with... Perfect. And we got him unconscious. That was easy. Hello, my friend. You'll be my pet soon. Okay, so... 18 raw meat. Let's put that in. As you can see, he has a really low torpor meter. That's the problem with Dillos, I think. And that means you have to be kind of close to it. Otherwise, it will wake up pretty soon. And as you can see, it's dropping pretty pretty rapidly. Uh, but narcotics have, I think, a 40... Uh, well, increase the torpidity by 40. So I don't want to, like, give it a lot of, uh, well, narcotics if it's not necessary. Because it would, well, it would waste it, right? And farming narcotics is pretty, 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 pretty boring. You can't believe me, it's boring. I did this on the online version for, I guess, two hours. And then, I, I, I think I already told you, I, we were... Trying to tame a, ca a, a Carnotaur, Carnotaurus, I think. And yeah, the server got restarted, and it was all our progress was lost and stuff like that. And I haven't played on the server since then. I rage quit it pretty hard. Yeah, I don't know why this got to me. Maybe because it was so unnecessarily boring to farm it up and then. It was, yeah, just gone in an instant. But yeah, and as you can see, it's nothing different. It's not different to any other kind of taming thing. You just stay with the guy you're knocked unconscious, and yeah, you you just feed it whatever you have. In case of carnivores. You can use prime meat, and I haven't got one because you, I think the weakest enemy you can kill for prime meat is a Stegosaurus, and they are still pretty strong. So yeah, I don't don't know. I didn't try to. Okay, we're pretty hot. Interesting. Let's jump into the water for a second. Cool down a bit. Oops, that's what is the wrong button. Okay, you're overheating. Cool down immediately. So I think we are actually losing um, HP due to that. Is it that hot here? 42, wow, that's pretty damn hot. Great. So yeah, we can just stay here for some time, I guess. Interesting, it's evening though. So let's eat some berries. 
and wait for our dinosaur to be, well, tamed. That's basically it. Now we can still wait a bit. 88, so 44. It's the least one that I, uh, that's not how far I want to let it drop, I think. There would be another Dillo over there in the distance. You can see him strolling around between those two palm trees. I guess. If you want the second one. I guess I, I've heard that they are quite cool guard dog kind of things because they spit. So you... Uh, let's, let's remotely use one. I've never had the overheating thing. And the other thing that I, I want to try is uh, tame a trike. Okay, and I think I'm gonna speed the rest of the process up because it isn't really that interesting, is it? Okay, so I see you later. Okay, you know what? This is this isn't really. That's pretty boring. Let's try to get this. Oh, okay. I don't know how you're supposed to kill these uh, Parasaurus. They're so freaking fast. If they don't get stuck between, um, well, some rocks or something, you're never gonna catch them. I've heard that some guy was, uh, well, cheated on a private server because I guess you can kind of level yourself up and stuff like that on private servers, not official ones or local, but when you play locally or something, I, I just that's just what I heard, right? It's I have no evidence of that. But yeah, I'm hot, okay. Oh, Dillo, Dillo is tamed. Let's call him Dillo. Perfect. So I'm accepting names. If someone wants to suggest a name, I'm open for suggestions, as long as they are not too trolly and or stupid and, yeah, not offensive in any way. I, yeah, might, I might name this Dillo after you or your suggestion. Hey, hey, come on, guy, but a bit faster. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm gonna get back into the water. Let's get, let's get him back home and let's see what's what's happening. So yeah, that's our that's our Dillo. Look at him. He's a level four. I think the taming effectiveness was not that great. Let's keep him to neutral though, because I don't want him to to attack everything on sight. I'm gonna get my narcotics back. So I think it took us four narcotics. And about seven meat to tame him. And I guess he will accompany us on some hunting trips. Maybe. Yeah. So okay, yeah, that's that's how you tame that's how you tame a dillo. Pretty simple stuff. And it's pretty much the same thing as with all dinosaurs in this game. Just feed them what uh, just knock them unconscious, feed them whatever you, whatever they like, and you're golden. The other thing that I, that's, that's, uh, well, the only thing that's changing over the course of time is the way you knock people unconscious, people, you knock dinosaurs unconscious. Uh, in my case, I used a slingshot, shot him in the head twice, and he was unconscious. That's perfect. I just want to see his stats, because he's pretty slow. But he has 300 movement speed. Well, alright. Okay, as I was saying, you can punch, punch him in the head. I uh, knocked the dodo unconscious that way between episode in between episodes but I didn't want to tame him because who wants a dodo anyways it's just that's just cannon fodder right and there's a dodo so I might be able to well why is he so slow oh he's sprinting when I'm sprinting but his his walking speed is pretty abysmal come on guy help me to kill this dodo No? Do I have to put him on aggressive? Ah! Perfect! Yeah, get him! Noise! Ah! 
Right, so we got the Stilo, uh, the Stodo killed by our Dillo. That's interesting, DD and stuff like that. So I got five meat out of it. Uh, by the way, I used the pickaxe. That's that the way you get more meat out of corpse. And I guess that's that's it for this episode. Tamed the Dillo. He had an, a successful. Uh, he had his first blood, his first kill. He he's now our well guard dog slash hunting companion, I guess. So I hope you liked this episode, and I'll see you next time. And as always, auf Wiedersehen.